lot of stuff that I like to use. I like to use drama, I like to use debate, I like to use uh, popular movies and music sometimes. Um, so one of the things that we recently did, we were working with uh, Julius Caesar and that was for literature actually. But I brought that over to English and got them to stage a mock trial on whether Julius Caesar's assassinators, the conspirators, whether they should be put on trial, whether they should be put in jail or not. So that helps them to get a bit into the characterization and that kind of thing. But what I really wanted them to start thinking about is whether it's right or wrong to assassinate a dictator. So that was the whole argument and that was really very interesting for them, I think. I always believe that you shouldn't be filling them up with content. The kids need to go and find out for themselves. And they started asking all kinds of questions. Like, you know, what kind of court is this set in? Is it like an ancient Roman court or is it a modern day court? Is it like the UN law, the American law? And it was very interesting for them. I think they had their costumes and all that. Um, actually, that day we didn't have enough time for the lesson. And they were like, no, 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 we can't finish this. No, 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 can we continue? I'm like, no, we have to do something else. And they're like, no, no. Yeah, so I have had a few students really um, who have shown a little bit more interest in their writing activities. Um, students were experimenting more with different things. Um, they were had a very confined method of writing, I find. Um, but later on, they seem to adjust and shift a little bit and then they ask me, you know, does this work? Can I see you after school? For me, those are success stories, really. Okay.